and welcome back to the Beach Bum Bookworm. I am Tiffany. I'm so glad you all found me again today. My channel is all about cozy mysteries and romance books. And today I'm doing part such and such of the Hidden Gems series. So Hidden Gems. Cozy mysteries in themselves are kind of a hidden gem. I do believe they're getting more skin in the game. They're becoming more popular. Cozy is a big buzzword right now. So I think they've got a lot of attention um, in the last year or so. So they are, like I said, they are becoming uh, more well-known, but still a lot of people don't know what they are. So hidden gems within cozies are the cozy community doesn't talk about these books enough. Maybe they don't know about them. They need to. So that is what this series is for, to kind of shout out those series that you think need more love, more attention, more readers. Having said that, please... If you have any series that you think are hidden gems, put them in the comments below. Email me, beachbumbookworm98 at gmail. Just put in the subject line, hidden gems. Uh, put it on my Facebook, my Instagram, whatever. Send me a message. I would love to have your suggestions. Okay, let's get it right into it. We're talking hidden gems of Cozy Mysteries. In three, two, one, go! As always, don't forget to stop, hit the subscription, notification bell, and subscription. All three of those help us out tremendously. I can't thank you enough. I'm having the best time. I just can't even put into words how much it means to me, all the support, all the community. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Support is absolutely free. It costs nothing to hit any of those buttons, but it helps us out tremendously. Okay, so my disclaimer I may mention a series that I've already mentioned. Just move forward. Don't worry about it. It's a slip up. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember where I leave off in which ones I want to do next. So there might be a little overlap, um, but, you know, forgive me. So the first one, having said that, the first one is the Perfectly Proper Paranormal Museum. This is by Kirsten Weiss. The first book is called The Perfectly Proper Paranormal Museum. There are 10 books in this series. This features Maddie, and Maddie takes over the local paranormal museum in her hometown. Her friend owns a tea shop. Well, they, she owns a building, and I think it's a tea shop that um, they share in the building. And she's like, hey, you know, why don't you come and run this? Her family is not the, um, you know, most thrilled that that's what she's doing. They, you know, want her to have more of a professional job and what they see as, you know, professional. It is so good. I... I love this series. I I like it way more than I thought. It is not very paranormal. <laughs> Especially for a series called The Perfectly Proper Paranormal Museum. Uh, it's light paranormal, which is like my favorite kind of paranormal. So I absolutely love it. If you are going in like really wanting something paranormal, I don't know that this is going to hit the spot for you. Um, because again, it's, you know, on the lighter side. But it's super funny and it is quirky and it's just really, really fun and different, unique. Really enjoy it. Give it a shot. Next up is the Amish Quilt Shop Cozy Mystery Series. This is by Isabella Allen, who's Amanda Flower. Amanda Flower is a very popular author, one of my favorites. And I feel like this series written under a pen name is lesser known and it is really, really good. So the first book is called Murder Plain and Simple right here. There are currently five books in this and this features Angie and Angie inherits her, I think it's her aunt's quilt shop. And she is not Amish, so, she, so some of the Amish people in town kind of are a little like standoffish and stuff like that she has a french bulldog and the bulldog is terrified of birds and he is so cute he is hysterical it's just a really sweet series really enjoy it and i just feel like it just doesn't get the attention as her other books written under made of flowers so i wanted to mention it five books in this series really good 
Next up is the Georgia Peach Cozy Mystery Series. First book is called Peaches and Scream, right here. I love this cover. This features Nala, and she works for her family's um, orchard, and I love orchard cozies. So I was hooked on this. There are three books out in it. Really, really, really enjoyed this series. Next up is one that I only read one book in, but I loved it so much, and I know that I want to include it on my SAS list next year, so I've been thinking about it. It was kind of... Um, uh, subbed on my SAS list for this year. I was really wanting to do it and then I kind of switched it out with something and now I may be a little regretful. But alas, I will get to it next year. <laughs> Maybe this year at some point. Anyways, it'll be a great one for the Cozy Road Trip Challenge when we get to this state because there are not a lot in this state. However, now is the perfect time of year. It is... The Tiki Goddess Cozy Mystery Series. Book number one is called My Taiwan On. It was so good, y'all. I want to read from the synopsis. It says, six months ago, if anyone would have told M. Johnson she'd end up divorce broke and running the dilapidated goddess tiki bar on the magical north show of Kauai, she would have told them to shove a swizzle stick up there. It doesn't say the A word. It says something else. As if that isn't bad enough when an obnoxious neighbor with a grudge is found dead in the goddess lu luau pit, suspicion falls on him and the rest of the goddess staff. With the help of a quirky dance troupe of over-the-hill hula maidens, the hula maidens are the senior group of dancers. It's so fantastic. It says, M and the cast of characters must band together to find the killer and solve the mystery before the next party. How did I not put this on my sass list? I'm so regretful right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. I might have to use it for my Hawaii road trip challenge. So I'd have to read book number two. See what I did there? Cha -cha. The last two that I have for you were sent to me by people. So keep those suggestions coming. The first one is the Amy Machado Cozy Mystery Series. Book number one is called Do for Discard. This is by Sharon St. George. It says that there are four books in this series. Amy Machado is thrilled to be starting her first job as a forensic librarian at the medical center in the town of Timbergate, north of Sacramento, California. Her mood is somewhat dampened by her, her good mood is somewhat dampened by her recent breakup with her former live-in boyfriend, Nick Alexander. And then there's a little matter of murder on Amy's first day on the job. A body is found in the hospital dumpster, soon identified as her supervisor's wife. Wow, okay. Might have to check that one out. Forensic librarian. As long as it's like totally cozy and you don't give me any of those details or scary stuff, I'm in. Next and last, another viewer is suggestion is the Mrs. Malloy Cozy Mystery Series. The first book is called Gone Away. This is by Hazel Holt. It says that there are 21 books in this series. 21. The first book in the delightful British Cozy Mystery Series featuring, featuring Mrs. Sheila Malloy. A plain spoken widow residing in the little seaside town of Talascombe, England, when pretty but greedy Lee Montgomery disappears, her uh, fiance Charles Richardson enlists Mrs. Malloy's help. The dauntless Mrs. Malloy soon suspects the worst. Little does she realize the terrible secrets her investigation will reveal. Like I said, 21 books. Oh my gosh, that is a really well known series. All right. Like I said, give me those hidden gems. Give me a big thumbs up for this video. And until next time, may all you future reads be five stars. Bye, everybody.